MLB Nationals here at Shadyside Dragway in North Carolina. And this is Southeast Gassers Association action on the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel. Hello, I am Lee Kraft, the host. And let's dive right into it and see who is $1,000 richer between Rob Walden and Quain Stock. <laughs> the second race of the season the storylines here are in mid-season form with the twist and turns that we have already had developed at Shadyside Dragway Todd Blackwell the number one qualifier for the a gas category had an interesting incident on the top end well needing a replacement for the glass that he looks through the number one qualifier at any race doesn't want to do this much work, but for Todd Blackwell, new windshield and a boo-boo. Todd, what happened after that first round of qualifying, even though you did get the number one spot? Well, I'm not really sure what caused it, but I know what happened. Uh, windshield came in on me uh, pretty close to the finish line, and uh, it just pinned my hand to the steering wheel and actually turned the steering wheel to the right. I jerked it back, and that's when the glass uh, cut my hand, and uh, that was pretty much it. So I, I, I got to give thanks to all the, some of the competitors, a lot of friends around here. I mean, you can shine the camera around and see all these guys. Everybody here helped. We had Rick Barner down here that had a piece of oversized plexiglass, and we got it. We got it cut in, got it put in, put some support bars in it, and put rivets all the way around it. I think it's better than it was before. Series owner and former champion in the A-Gas category, Leslie Horn, rolled in to testing here at Shadyside with a power plant that he's not going to be racing with because a rod decided to exit out of that motor. But his backup motor was already being used by another competitor. So another competitor stepped up and helped Mr. Horn in the chick magnet. Leslie Horn in the chick magnet has had to put a new power plant to create the magnetism since he rolled in here at Shady Side. What happened in testing and where are you now after qualifying? Well, believe it or not, we got we got the hot rod in fourth place. I'm really surprised that I'm there with it. Uh, thanks to uh, Brian, Bob, uh, Ben Christopher. Ben Christopher, as you know, he borrowed my backup engine, my Fulton engine. I didn't have the heart to help him take it out of his car last night, so Chase come over and let me borrow his backup engine. It's a little different power plant from what I'm used to. It's a 461, a little bit smaller than the 477. Uh, don't quite have the top end and stuff that I'm used to, but we're making the most out of it when we put the hot rod in fourth. So, we're here. On in to Eliminations here on the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe as we look at the A-Gas category of the Southeast Gassers Association at Shadyside Dragway for the Shelby Nationals, presented by Robbins Repairables. Look at that. 
States, bro.
the beautiful Strychnine Willis of Rob Walden going on to round number two. Tell us, how did round one go picking up that wind light? And with picking up wind lights and A-gas, why this rumor of moving to B-gas? Well, the car's just gotten kind of dangerous on top end on some tracks. Um, it just doesn't get good traction on top end, so it gets a little squirrely sometimes. And I just think that a car will be better at a little heavier weight and a little less horsepower. I think we can be a little more competitive down there, too. Before going to B-Gas, you think you might be able to get one last Sega A-Gas trophy today? That would be nice. <laughs> it might make me change my mind if we could do that. So, so far it's pretty good. We beat Quain two out of two and then come back and beat Chase and ran the fastest time the car's ever ran right there. So, it, it, it keeps telling me to stay in A-Gas, but I don't know. We'll make up our mind before the next race, I guess. Gabriel Burl, the defending A-Gas champion in Southeast Gassers Association competition, had a competition single in round number two to go on to the semifinals. He was to face Leslie Horn, but Leslie Horn broke a transmission and was not able to answer the call. Gabriel Burl at the first event at Brainerd Motorsports Park for 2024, went past round one, but in doing so, broke a ladder bar and was not able to continue the event. Sometimes in drag racing, it goes your way, and sometimes it doesn't. The Agent Orange machine of Dean Jonas certainly had an effect on Kenneth Phillips, the race winner of the first race of the year. You beat him by a whole shot. Spectacular driving there, Dean. Thank you. Uh, I think driving's got me by a couple times today, but uh, I'm going to be honest about it. Kenneth lost that race more than I won it, but I still got the win light. He was a little bit late on the tree, and I done my job. Now we got a battle of the whole shot winners. You get up, you get a chance to go against Barry now. Oh, I didn't know I had Barry. So me and Barry's raced a lot, and he's beat me, and I've beat him. So this will be a toss up. Yeah. 
At the last event, he had to go home after a win. At this event, you're poised to take a win away from the Shelby Nationals. Gabe, it's days like this. You string together, makes a championship. We're not fighting for a championship this year, but it's still going to be nice to take home the win. Uh, went to the last race, broke the uh, ladder bar, ended up sending us home after the first round of eliminations after we had won the round. And uh, came out Friday night here and tested, and the car made a perfect most straight pass it's ever made so thought we were good first round of qualifying today uh car wouldn't run at all finally found out an ignition box had failed put that on it between first round and second round a shock had went out which i knew needed to be changed but it was faster than my new set so i kept the old set on there so finally got that fixed after second round uh made a good pass there against todd and uh car should be ready here to go to the finals and see what i can do with whoever i have i don't even know who i'm running but uh car's sitting good and we should be good right now so you've got barry lynn in the final in the wagon yeah well, i guess this is his first final probably so it'll be good to meet him here uh i'm tickled for him and we'll see what we can do with him in his little red wagon barry lynn is certainly living in the dash and having a good time doing it barry first final coming up in southeast gasters association competition first finals that's uh been in the semifinals many times but first finals and uh, I will have to admit, I won't lie, I've been lucky today. Lucky's got me where I'm at. I've been cutting some decent trees, cutting some decent times off the line, and the car's running okay. It's still not doing what I want. I don't guess it ever is for anybody. Barry, do you think you got enough, though, luck, skill, or steam in this hot rod of yours to go up against and win over the going thing in the Ford of Gabriel Burrell? Gabe's going to be tough. I mean, we we friends. I've already just talked to him just a minute ago. Um, he's got a faster car this weekend, but I'm going to try to do what we can. We're going to see if we can put it in a circle. At the last event, he broke a ladder bar. This event, you break the ladder concerning the competition and you pick up the win, Gabriel Burrell. It wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. Uh, I think I had one pretty good pass all day today, and it wasn't nothing to write home about, but uh, we got A to B a little bit quicker than, well, yeah, a little bit quicker than Barry. He treated me, and I had him a little bit on ET, but tried to tear the wall down there about 200 foot down the track, so I'm tickled with it. Uh, Glad to see Barry here. Wish he could win, but I didn't want him to against me. So, All right, you've been saying you're not running for this championship and defending what you earned in 2023. When can we expect to see you back in Sega competition? 
maybe Knoxville. I'm not sure what. I don't know. We hadn't planned that far ahead yet, but uh, we won't be in Ohio. But I don't know after that what we end up doing. So, the Southern Flyer flying high. Appreciate it. Congratulations to Gabriel Burrell once again winning in a gas here at the Shelby Nationals at Shady Side Dragway. Before you go, I do want to make a remark on Shady Side itself. This historic drag strip for a very long time, an outlaw drag strip, now IHRA sanctioned, and the buffs continue to move this track forward, adding brand new bleachers and putting in the time and effort to cut into the very earth of this facility and to make it a better facility. Many more things to come in the future as they have phases planned and we're only looking at phase one. This has been a tremendous event. Thank you for watching right here on Monday Morning Racer. Hit the like button, subscribe please. And by the way, you can catch all the action and all the other categories of the Southeast Gassers Association on PowerTube TV. Thank you. I'm Lee Kraft. God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.